Welcome back, everyone. I just discovered that Rose has her own radio station, and it's fucking great. I love it. Like, it's just her making quips and stuff. So anyway, I figured we'd go here and uh, kill a feral ghoul. Apparently, also, I looked on the map, and uh, that is a <clears throat> uh, takeoverable place, a, a workshop. Oh, I was kind of walking past it here, and I kind of saw it on the, the compass. I'm not gonna eat a fucking ghoul, Rose. You wanna be able to live long enough to send those scorched back into the ground where they belong? Then stick with me. Become a raider. And don't trust anyone. Well, except for me. You can trust me. Overseer's log. Missile Silo Charlie. I've now verified that all three missile silos still have operational security. And I'll scour all of Appalachia if I have to. This is part of this amazing opportunity. Narks and other losers need now to play. <clears throat> Can I just say I love Rose? Like, not like even. Oh, I, I like the character Rose. No, I fucking love Rose. As in, goddamn, I would marry that fucking robot in a heartbeat. <laughs> Damn it. Oof. Also, Rose keeps pushing drugs on people, and it's great. Oh my god. <clears throat> I wonder how many random voice lines they did for <laughs> this. Where the bad people live 
<clears throat> this is great. I love her so much. Uh. This radio station's the greatest ever. Change my mind. You can't. It's impossible. Got him! Alright, well. <clears throat> I do believe that is all. Ten of ten would join Rose's Raider gang. Okay, all I'm saying. Ah, uh, this is the greatest radio station ever, because it doesn't play fucking music that gets like annoying or overbearing or copyright strikes on YouTube. That pause there was me quietly well, drinking water. A bunch of stuff about Raider tactics, and I've got to say they all seem. Ridiculous. Really entertaining to watch from here. <laughs> Were they effective? Uh, I guess so. You survived, didn't you? We can talk about your reward when you get here. Good job! Uh, you? I don't even know my goddamn name. <clears throat> Rose. Behind when they all checked out. Bradley, 
problem is it's locked away and I can't get in there. Double problem. No one trusted each other enough to give anyone complete access to the treasure. So they split up the key. See, each gang's leader had a holotape with their own personal oh, password on it. Find them all so I can patch them together and make the master key. That's more technical than that, but uh, you wouldn't understand. Then we'll have ourselves access to all that wonderful treasure. <laughs> I'll probably even give you a fair share of the loot. Promise. Check out Blackwater Mine first. That's the last place we heard from Freddie Lang, leader of the Blackwater Bandits. Pretty sure she had a terminal there. Might be worth a look see. All right. <clears throat> Blackwater Mine. Where was that at? I think I went to it, right? Hey, I've been there before. Okay. You make like a raider. Rose. Down there. Right. Okay. Ugh. Oh boy. Uh oh. I think we're past the point where I just want to use you to further my own goals. I may be starting to like you. <gasps> now, I don't want you thinking your pal Rose is going soft on me, so let me just say this. If you ever get it in your head to screw me over. I will get you with this here saw and string your entrails up like Christmas tinsel. Nothing personal. That laugh was like hella hot. Okay. That's right, you run away. I said you run away. Don't come at me. I said run away. And damn. Hey, robot. Greetings. Detection error. System is currently offline. Authorization denied until ventilation. Good talk, then. All right. Hmm. You can set off some nice explosions to let me know you're thinking of me. I'll be sure to find a way to thank you. Of course. Don't get your hopes up. What do you think? I'm loaded up here, just ready to give out presents like I'm Santa Claus or something. <laughs> no. You'll get the mild appreciation of a psychotic robot lady. Isn't that enough? Look, pretty much everything mm -hmm. and everyone is dead out there. You've got to take what you can get. Rose here. Not that I'm a creep, but I was watching you through the viewfinder again and saw you enter the mine. Can you still hear me? Ah, whatever. It's not like you can radio back. Anywho, if I recall, we completely lost track of the Blackwater Bandits back in 96. Freddy wasn't looking too good last time we saw her alive. Not her usual bright and spirited self. Real sick. Something happened in my head out there. Not just 
Fuck it. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait for it. Come on. And I'll clear your lights. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, wait, Freddy! Well, I'll let them deal with that. They got that. Excuse you, Freddy. There. One of those fuckers has a missile launcher. Great. You son of a bitch. I was looting that! God damn it. Alright. And then out we go. You know what? Not the glowing blood, whatever, that's fine. They should honestly pay Rose's voice asterisk. Asterisk. Ask. A a actress, oh my god, to like do like 50 hours worth of lines on that, uh, just on this radio station, just like constant loop it. Like 50 hours would be great. Like, that's all I would listen to. Our constant, just constant repeat. Be fucking great. Oh my god. But it seems like, uh, we've already heard repeats here multiple times in this 20 minute period. So. Trappers next. They had a camp out near the Devil's Backbone, so they could keep an eye out along the road in the southeast. 
types like camping and hunting so be careful searching the camp for their piece of the key if it wasn't obvious they were really into traps mm. the good people ask the bad people to share but the bad people said no <clears throat> Just so we're all clear, I'm not turning this radio station off for this uh, entire episode. So, I'll think about it next episode, but right now, it stays on Rose. Another star symbol over there. Mm, yeah, why not? Houston's attacked us. We told you we needed help from your guys to hit him first. Thanks for nothing. They took Walter and some others back to Huntersville. Don't know what they're doing with them, but I ain't sticking around to find out. Walter's probably dead now. He ain't. He's got the tape, so there goes the cash. This is on you. You want it back? Check Huntersville for Walter's body. Cool. <clears throat> was the last time I was here. The clown Whatever. outfit. I've been doing a lot of camps. I want to let you all in on a little secret. There's a reason why I'm alive and no one else is. They all suck. <laughs> Not all of them were losers, I guess. Some of the Raiders were cool. But of course, I'm not sure I'm allowed to say they were all bad. But I... Thorpe, we got a bit of situation here I want to report. Hmm. Send this here hollow tape with the runner to you as soon as I can. Me and the other trappers set up this camp here near Devil's Backbone, just like we all agreed on. It's been working out for us. Plenty of game to catch, plenty of unlucky saps wandering the east still. But, uh, you know how we said we stay out of Huntersville and don't drink the water near there? I thought it was just some sort of quarantine zone for sick people, so we sure not to poke at it. We started hearing some noises coming from the town a bit back, so I done reckon we better send someone to check it out. Well, he come back talking about some big old green huns stalking around, trying to rip up the fence around town and busting up stuff real good. First I heard, so I get him to show me, and I don't believe my eyes. These big green fellas were in there, looked like, ransacking the town. Next thing you know, them Brotherhood of Steel folks are marching on it and clashing with the other guys, and they ain't doing too well against them. As soon as it looked like the armored goons were losing the fight, we hauled ass back here, and that's where we're at. The fight's still going on, and we'll keep an eye on the situation, but if things go belly up. I think the shit went belly up, huh? Oh, shit! It's those green bastards and they got guns! 
We got guns. Wow, that's rude as fuck. Okay, that one's not important. That boy is, though. You're too close. Did you just say something and nerds or nerds and something else? Uh, we need to not apply. <laughs> How dare you throw a grenade at me? I'm the one who throws grenades, that is. I suppose subtitles for the radio, that'd be nice. Got him. Didn't I pick up like three Molotovs? Whatever. Oh, hey. Poor Jangles. Physical monitor keeps going black, so I have to look at my recording to aim. I might need a new monitor. The keen eyes notice something odd about the corpse nearby. Its belly is strangely distended, as if someone was tampering with it. You should investigate more closely before proceeding. You want to not do that, buddy? this one first. Okay, knock it off, you little shit!
What's wrong? Can't take fucking face shots, huh? You little bastard. Just heard this one, did we not? Nina Belchley's note. You can hear them at the door, banging, trying to get inside. They've taken father away, shot my mother, and now they're coming for me. West Tech and the military have turned our instant town into something horrible. Oh yeah, this is Huntersville, the place where uh, West Tech made all these uh, super muties. That's right. Ooh, overdrive. <laughs> you gotta be a fucking workbench somewhere here, right? What is in fertilizer that I need? Whatever. At some point I need to go through and unmark everything that I do not need, and then mark stuff that I need again. Can I jump? Thank you. Oh, it's just a skirmisher.
That place now, huh? In case, who the fuck cares? Am I right? Okay. Before you get any funny ideas about trying to take me down, just remember who survived all alone out here. Let me tell you, it ain't the responders, and it ain't the Brotherhood of Steel, that's for sure. So, let that sink in for a minute or two. Oh, something went boom. Let's try this again, shall we? A lot of things are going boom. Several things, one might say, are going boom. Hey, of course, there's a Primus here. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, hey, guys. Just fire the fucking missile launcher, come on, dude. God damn it. Every time. I thought I heard a suicider for a second there. I was going to be concerned. Wait, what do you mean I don't have an airdrop in progress? I guess I might have done it twice accidentally. Ah, it's there, okay. Well, mine'll take a while to spawn in, so why don't we go after that one? Huh? I'm out of AP, that's why I couldn't go in the vats. Damn it. That's right, you bastard. What am I carrying right now that's fucking making me overweight? Hmm. We can level up anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, we have one more perk after this one, so let's search... 
do everything here. Let's search for charisma. Yeah, we're gonna do that, right? That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Uh, no. 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 Ah, no. 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 Make your targets revive or receive more damage. Hmm. Forget rebuilding society. Oh, that wouldn't be too bad. Although thirty percent of like ten is three, so fuck it. Yeah, nothing cool in this one. Oh. It's a lot of levels. Was I going for something, everyone? Remember? I know you guys can't answer me, and by the time you can see this video, we won't remember, but, uh... I, uh... Kinda like the idea of... This one? Making more ammunition? Yeah. Spoiled stuff. Yep, I got some spoiled stuff on me. Excellent. That's the Savage Divide has rejuvenated and the season will continue. Is that what that just said to me? In the upper left? Ooh, plan. Boss will take that, you know. Go ahead and get rid of that fusion core. That one too. Because so, I mean, yeah, who wants to carry around a fucking four tick fusion core? That's just dumb. Wouldn't you all agree? <laughs> I know I agree, but then again, I'm me, so who knows? Now good people realize that dead people don't need food and supplies. So they then the good people went to bed with full stomachs and whatever else they needed. The world of the world is great because everyone else is a loser. <laughs> if you want to know more, you know where to find me. Come on! Fucking time. I see you, mole man. But you fucking think I don't? Yeah. 
He ran all that way just to get shot in the fucking lung and die. Get away from my loot, you bastards! Correctly, there was uh, in this little area here a couple of places I can use to scrap, right? Or am I dumb? No, I'm dumb. It's actually hilarious, the Hello World thing. As a programmer, <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Because, uh, if, if you uh, have programmed, the first thing you do in, like, any language is find out how to say Hello World. And, uh, since she's a robot, I find it hilarious. Alright, where the fuck is a goddamn workbench? Can I aim or can I aim, everyone? Apparently I can't fucking aim is the answer. Not a good punch. Where are you going for the air? Oh cool, last level. Well, have you been following my advice and taking all your kids, kiddo? Are you not quite feeling yourself anymore when you run out? Well, I've got bad news for you. Congratulations. I think I just got shot at. Hold on. I did. That was this house, right? With the, uh, the lab in the bottom? Yep. Okay. Wasn't there a fucking bench down here? Am I fuck? Okay, right. I'm... I am fucking dumb. <laughs> Just ignore me, everyone. Hello, this is your deadly neighborhood raider, Rose, and I 
God, that laugh is just fucking amazing. Oh, I'm still overweight? <clears throat> Son of a bitch. You know what? Drop all this fucking syringe ammo. I don't need it. Also, I got a cannonball. I don't know why I had a cannonball. Excuse you? If you're interested in joining the battle, you know what? I got I know what I gotta get rid of. Come find me at the top of the world. Come at it, welcome. Free loaders. My SMG. Bye. Might be asking yourself, why? Well it was uh wasting all my ammunition. Which is what I wanted it to do, but now that we're under a thousand want to keep it, so. Open the pack! Give your kids memories they don't have to repress. <laughs> so I think, um, our last one here is probably going to be Endurance. That way we uh, have our max health. We have less action points drained from sprinting, and more resistant to diseases, so I think we'll go with that. Question is, which do I want to get? Oh, oh. Hey, friends! Rose here with the traffic and weather. Looks like almost everyone's still dead, so traffic's at a standstill! <laughs> Good luck with that commute! As for the weather, we're looking at no. scattered I was thinking about this, but with my healing factor, I'm already, like, healing hella quick, so... We can just gain more health. I don't feel like it's really worth it, though. Yeah, why not? Let's grow this. More chems, baby, more chems. There we go. Oh, I already have the cannibal perk, never mind. Damn, I could have ate that ghoul. I'm just kind of going through, and I think I'll kind of change up what I have in my cards here. Hmm. These cans are putting me through the moods. Know what I'm saying? Speaking of, here's another helpful tip for all of you out there. Has this ever happened to you? One day you're walking around minding your own business, and some sort of hulking monstrosity jumps out of nowhere and gets all up in your face. 
Yeah. It's fine. Oh, hold on. Definitely want that one. Definitely want that one. Definitely want that one. Definitely want that one. Okay, cool. Glad we're in agreement there. <laughs> Let's see. Counter rifle and automatic rifles do more damage? Uh, okay. And there's nothing really good to change there. Let's see. Intelligence, makeshift warrior is what I have there. Hmm. Armor smith, or ammo smith, I guess. Moving target. For those of you just tuning in, what took you so damn long? You missed a hell of an apocalypse like There we go. Wait, three, four, five, six. Okay, gotcha. What do we got? Mm. Nothing that I really need. Okay, cool. I think that's our loadout now. Alright, I'll give y'all a break from the radio now. There. Okay. Excellent. Let's get the... Apparently I have explosive bait. That's weird. Black... Oh. Fuck me though, what? Oh, excuse me while I just swap this out real quick with the blade of a set. Oh, I can use it in power armor too. Oh, baby. Okay. Anyway, yeah, we're uh, gonna go up this way. Because remember, we're working our way up here, so let me surely. Also, this place looks terrifying, and I want to see what the fuck it is. I miss Rose already. Oops. I thought I was gonna kill him one hit. God, I'm not in the low level areas anymore. Where did the body go? Did it roll down? Where did it go? Oh, hey. How, how you doing? I'm just gonna go ahead and... Yeah, there we go. Excuse me, I totally hit your ass the first time. Fine. I guess power attacks don't work on you, huh? Oh, hey. Hold on, I gotta itch my nose. There we go. Excuse me while I look in here real quick. I feel like I'm locking it. There we go. Any power armor down there? No? Nah. Yeah. 
Look at all this. These bottles. Hey, bobblehead. How are you doing? Okay. Ooh, plans for pocketed marine chest, huh? Oop. Got it. Excellent. Oh, this place is cool. Something good for loot here, though. A nice little band area up here. Man, that's cool. What's this? Attracting the Night Stalker. Here's a list of things that seem to attack the Night Stalker to the hall. We'll put the info on this list so we can put out the nightly call. Play music on the instruments. Blasting the jukebox. Swinging around those instrument weapons. Polly rigged up some bashing ferals with them. Uh, killing stuff. Seems to love fresh blood. Being drunk. I think it can smell the alcohol on us. Don't do any of this stuff till night time when we're ready to face it. We'll kill the Night Stalker once and for all. Oh, so if I like... Play the jukebox here. I said if I play the jukebox here. Fine. No Night Stalker for me, huh? Aw, this poor panda. A Nuka Quantum Grenade. Excellent. Now I actually have a use for Nuka Quantum besides drinking it, or... Yeah. Drinking it is what I meant to say there. Trailer at this house. Oh, hey. Excellent. Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking at something, wasn't I? Whatever. Not plastic plates. Oh, hello there, power armor frame. Better just a frame and not anything decent, huh? Crossbow. How big is that fusion core? 58? I'll take that. Find a weapon workbench. Uh, eh. Point on locking that right now. Out we go. A 
Yeah, I figure since we did end a little early yesterday, not yesterday, um, <clears throat> previously, we would go ahead and uh, do a little bit of a longer one this time around. Where's this ammo cache at, huh? Does it have good ammo or is it all shitty ammo? Huh. I guess I'd call that decent. The last shot should have killed it, but whatever. Screw it, just take this fucking gun out. Each other, huh? You silly people. Anyway, hmm. <clears throat> what do we got here? Ooh, that's bigger. That's better. That's better. Okay. Get on to me. Gourd, huh? What's this? Carl's note. Let's see. There's a working power armor in the magnolia plant. He's out of juice. So if we can get our hands on a fusion core and walk it back here myself. You had mentioned she picked up a core somewhere. Just need to come up with a convincing reason why we need it. Can't let anyone know about our armor until it's in our loving care. So is that the armor they found, or is there still armor at the Magnolia plant? I'm gonna call it Magnolia, I know that's not what it's called, but I'm gonna call it that anyway, because I'm an asshole. So there's no ammo here, huh? Okay. That's fine, I guess. I don't want to be an asshole about it. Do, 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 do. Didn't want to do that one, but whatever, that's fine. Okay. So. Let's equip what we have currently. Not that. I meant to equip it. Uh, F. There. Now then. The helmet is 45, 45, 27. 45, 45, 27. Okay. Equip the helmet. The right arm is 45, 45, 27. The right arm is... 50, 50, okay. Well, the right arm's not better, right? No, not at all, okay. Scrap that. The torso is 75, 75, 40. 75, 75, yep, okay. Go ahead and uh, scrap the torso. Boom. Helmet, apply the American paint. Everything else look good. Now this is a little bit damaged, I'll go ahead and repair that while we're here. Excellent. Any other mods that I've unlocked? No? Okay, that's fair. Uh... Actually, hold on. Um... Modify. Right, I got rid of the helmet. Um, go ahead and scrap that. Excellent, okay. And I'll go ahead and enter this one. Nah. Oh, it actually put my power arm over top of that. Okay. I meant to enter it, but okay. Ugh. Perfect. And now we got a new helmet! I do like this helmet better on this paint job, for now, I gotta say. Our armor's just a patchwork. We got some T-60, we got a Raider, we got a T-55, 
51, and we got a T45 leg down there, I think. I think we got a couple of T45 pieces still. Oh no, it's just the leg now. Yeah, just the leg, and then we got... 51 helmet, and a 60 leg arm and torso, and then a radar leg. Cool. Alright, well, let's see. Where to next? Let's go over that way. I don't see anything else on the mini-map, so... We'll head to this cave. Still a dinky-ass light. I love there's a fissure over there, too. What do I have equipped? Bait? Fuck it. I don't know. I'm just gonna fuck around, honestly. Uh, crash on a grenade. There we go. Get out of my face! Plagin! Can use his buddy as cover. You put that fucking minigun down. It's not even that good of a goddamn weapon. Look at that. I'm walking right towards you and it's not even doing shit to me, man. Oh, that that's a car. I'm expecting that to do a little more damage to him, but whatever works, I suppose. Leave your fucking mini in there to rot in hell for all I care. What? Oh, that son of a bitch. What is that symbol on the map? A pumpkin farm? I guess that's what it is. What is this place called? Hopewell Cave? Ironic that it's called Hopewell, when it's shaped like a skull. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah? Well, that's not ominous at fucking all. I wanna check this trailer first. A three lock on a trailer? Yeah. 
Oh, a couple of hogs. Yeah, boy. I think I already know those, but just to be sure. I didn't know I'm sweet. I think that was like a thousand dollar plan too. Or a thousand cap, I should say. But regardless. Hopewell Cave, discovered in May of 1816. This cave appeared to be some significance to the Native American uh, Adena culture, which existed from 1000 to 200 BC. Anthropologists investigated it at some length and found small bits of pottery and a few animal bones. Hmm. Oh, it's an actual cave, it's not like a... Oh... My guess is a death claw. What do you all guess? An anthropologist hollow tape? Or there's nothing in here at all. Oh no, I knew it. I knew it. Come on, Deathclaw, you ain't scary. You ain't even partially scary, I don't know. You aren't even on your way to being scary. You're like jump scares. They're not scary, they're just surprising. Don't even count as scary. Now, you want to learn about scary? Go fucking talk to the Mothman or the fucking Windigo, huh? Those motherfuckers are scary as shit. Okay, stop hitting me, though. I can't shoot you when you're hitting me. Hey, don't you run! Who's the death claw? He's fucking great. Oh, yeah, but he fucking runs away because he's a pussy! God damn it. <laughs> I thought that was funny as fuck. Anyone else? Was that funny as fuck to anyone else? Just me? Cool. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there is nothing else in here. We got an archaeologist tape, though. As my study of Hopewell Cave continues, I'm struck by the atypical nature of this Adena-based burial complex. The Adena culture generally buried their dead in large mounds and similar hill-shaped earthworks. Due to the primitive nature of the tools from 1000 to 200 BC, stone carving was not yet a part of their society. However, Archaeologists who investigated this Skull Cave site removed remains and artifacts belonging to the Adena culture. I wonder if it's possible that the remains of the Adena people were moved to this location well after their society ceased to exist. For one culture to treat another's with such reverence is... It's unusual, at best. I will continue my research to discover more. I like the look of my armor in this fucking like light. It's like black and green instead of whatever other colors it normally is. I wanted to equip that is what I wanted to do because uh, it held better power and armor for me. Oh my god. A robot right arm, huh? We might equip this if it uh, doesn't take ballistic fiber. If it takes anything else but ballistic fiber, I'm cool with. It's just ballistic fiber is a pain in the ass to find. Everything else I'm pretty cool with. Even my armor looks green, which is pretty nice. Okay. Oh, right. I'm still overweight. Um, I could just drop, drop the blade of a set. I don't really need it. I mean, whatever. Oh, but this fucking radium gun, though. Oh. 
You know what? Lever action, what do you do? 80? 4, 5. That's roughly 60. Mmm. Fire rate's better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we can use this? Perfect. Okay. Um. It's only three pounds, though. I need to drop a good amount. Let's see. Get rid of this dirty water. What the fuck am I carrying that's, like, weighing me down so much here? What do I have a shit ton of molded plastic? Is that no? Oh. First of all, let's drop this cloth. I have enough cloth for a while. It's gonna be the fusion cores then, right? Fuck that 13 fusion core, okay? Fuck that 25 one. Anything under 50, honestly. Okay. That's all the fusion cores that are under 50. Why do I have two stacks of 50s? Whatever. I'm so fucking overweight. What the hell? What is this nonsense? Or what about 10, too? Fuck it. Let's go. Oh, this is the slow firing one. One of the charging ones, okay. We got that, okay, perfect. Oh, gods. Well, that's a diseased scorch beast, too. Lovely. I love diseased scorch beasts. Fuck's it! Oh, this guy. Oh, these guys. Oh, hey guys. Okay, we need to uh, change up here a little. Hold on. From mines. There we go. Frag mine. Okay. I think I was walking into a fucking huge ass field of scorched. Oh, cool, I'm suffering from the blight. Excellent. It's fucking great. If I can see your ass. See you there. All right, you want to land again so we can end this, huh? Fuckers keep coming from. Holy shit. Okay, asshole, listen here.
It's all the scorched for now. Oh, God damn it, I'm not reloading. About done, huh? Who doesn't recover from this? Oh, no, it doesn't. Cool. Let's go, motherfucker! Radium rifle! Scope's too fucking focused. We'll just no scope it then. Damn, that super stim pack is doing its fucking job. Go over there. Fuck, son! How dare you? I need to land one more time. Got his ass! Hell yeah! That we do! <sighs> Fuck that. Scorch Beast Bones! I'll take those. I don't know what they're for, but I'll take them. I know I can burn them down into ultra lights or whatever the hell it is. If I fall down there, do I die? That's the real question here. I'm assuming I can get back up, right? I could probably jump it. Let's not risk it though, fuck that shit. Okay. Oh, what we got here? A little arm thingy? Mysterious buttons on them. Is that a scythe? Can I get a scythe? Oh man. The fuck is skittering? I hear you. Little bastard. Oh, hey there. What does the blight do? Oh, that's a bad one. Uh, disease cure. All right. 
Well, you know what? We've come this far. Might as well continue towards the objective, huh? Sure, we're overweight, overburdened, and a little bit damaged from killing a Scorch Beast, but hey, fuck it. We'll live. We've had worse. We got a new radium rifle. That I'll need to modify to make the scope a little bit smaller. And then, uh... See if I can do anything else to it. Oof, okay. Used up a lot of 5.56 in that fight. Yeah, my gun is still okay. You know, it might take us a little bit longer than I thought to get up there. Sure, we're overweight, and I don't know how I'm getting AP while doing that, but we'll be fine. Mm. This way. Yeah. This is the right path. I still have no idea where that one fucking treasure map is. The one with the radar dish on it? Maybe? Can I not stand here? Okay, I can. Okay. So from here... I need to try to get up here, maybe? Oh. Well, that failed. Okay. Never mind. We'll keep walking around, maybe. Uh, this might be a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Another one of these weird listening posts. What are these? There's like fake trees in random places. Yeah, I could, I could climb that. I almost found a fucking ski lodge of some sort down there. Still in your vertical fucking wall. A bit of progress. Upward is always good. You can die. <laughs> oh, shit. there. Yep, we're here. Okay. Also, fire this a lot faster than I can fire the lever action, which is nice. Is that a vault dweller? Yeah, that's a vault dweller. I wonder if they have a number on their back. Ah, bastard, you moved your foot.
I'm still crouching. <laughs> Oops. Well, 94. It's Vault 94. I found Vault 36 down there. Think you can just fucking shoot me from the fucking window, huh? Dogs. Oh, it's chained. Okay. So just, God damn, what the fuck's going on in here? Okay, ow. Talk about rude. That shit, cause I don't need it. This is Margie McClintock of the Diehards. What a joke. We deluded ourselves into thinking our victims would fear a name like that. But now, everyone out there is as desperate as we are. Every confrontation could mean life or death. People take their chances. They fight back. So we have to kill. We have to murder innocent people. Well, not me. I don't care what this world has come to. The whole idea of the Raiders is sick. It's inhuman. I'm destroying them. Stupid key fragment. Those bastards don't deserve their treasures. Unless they return their senses and quit this whole murderous power game they're playing. If that ever happens, Vincent knows what to do. Maybe he'll be more successful than I was. As for me... I'll find some chems and, and I'll go out that way. Peaceful. Pain. I'll see you soon, Harley. Okay. Make here. Look, I've got to say something before it's too late. I think old Margie is off her rocker, man. You know, we are all trying our best here, but this whole idea of being a raider without killing oh, is way harder than it sounds. I mean, yeah, I can, but that girl, this is like the death out there. Some of these people are just trying to make it like anyone else after the bombs. Yeah, I don't want to kill them if they don't give up their stuff. But, you know, we gotta eat, and so do they. Waving a gun around used to scare them, but now they got nothing to lose, so they wave one right back. I can tell you, but we're told not to fire first, and it ain't getting any easier. She don't know it yet, but a lot of us, we've been firing first anyway. So we save our skins. Why'd you be kidding She ain't out there like the rest of us. Only reason we don't up and mutiny her ass is because she's got that piece of the key for the cash and a few loyalists to protect her. And honestly, it'd still be tame with any of the other gangs. Guess all we can do is keep on keeping on. You dig? Concerned with Margie. Make here. Look. Make again. I've got to say something before it's too late. I think old Margie is off her rocker, man. You know, we're 
all trying our best here. No. Meg here. Look, I've got to say something before it's too late. I think old Margie is off her own. Well, the same thing. Okay. As it was a thing down here, right? Read business terminal? Oh. Would you wolves stop pitter patting around? It's annoying. Where's this terminal at? It's down? How do I get down? Oh. I guess I just gotta go down. <laughs> oh. Someone's hiding their cams, huh? Shadow robot arms, I guess I'll take that. Hey wolves, you pieces of shit. The fuck is this? Why can't I take this? Since fried terminal, huh? Important notices. Data corrupt. Of course it is. Sent. Data corrupted. Inbox. Disappearance. Gone. Margie. Palace. Confidential. Other gangs. Admin password. Okay. Ooh, an ammo box. Hello over there. All right, what we got here? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Excellent. Okay. Out of the armor. We're gonna look and see what it takes to repair this goddamn uh, robo thing. Take ballistic fiber. Excellent. Scrap that shit. We unlock stabilized, huh? Scoped aim is more steady. Ooh. Might be worth it. Reduce melee damage and blocking. That's dumb, get me stabilized. Okay. That'll be all I need to do. Let's go ahead and repair my weapons real quick. Can't scrap that. Damn it. Okay. Missing springs to repair that. Missing springs to repair that. Missing springs to repair that. I'm gonna repair that. Wouldn't scrap that.
Yeah, it adds burn damage, okay. Oh, but it was a can there. Get the admin password. Oh my god, are you kidding? All right, well, I guess that'll be the end of our journey for now. Yep. Yes, indeedly do. Plenty of other stuff to look at around here. Um, by here, I mean, like, around this area and stuff. But, uh, we'll need to head back home, repair some stuff, see if we can scavenge some screws from some vendors or something. See all that kind of stuff now. So, we'll go ahead and end things here. I am going to do some, as usual, inventory maintenance. Take care of some stuff since we've been overlay for the last couple of whiles. So we'll go back down here, and then we'll uh, fight our way back up here. And we'll actually be able to do a treasure map, too, because there's one up here near this thing. Well, that'd be cool. All right, well, until next time, everyone, I'll catch you later. Bye.